Today we're taking a first look at the RVP510 incremental encoder with display from IFM Effector. Now this encoder can actually be configured as either an encoder, a speed monitor, or a counter. And it has a solid shaft with a 10 millimeter diameter and can be configured for a resolution anywhere between one and 10,000 pulses per rev, but it comes from the factory set at 1,024 pulses per rev. As far as wiring, the unit comes with a single 8-pin M12 connector, and its operating voltage range is from 4.75 to 30 volts DC. Now, it consumes less than 350 milliamps and also includes reverse polarity protection. Now, the unit's output switching frequency is rated up to 1,000 kilohertz, and those outputs are short-circuit protected as well. Now, the encoder's parameters can be set using the onboard display and the three buttons on the side of the unit. It also can display the current status of the unit, like the current count. The RVP510 also supports IO-Link version 1.1 and has an operating temperature range of minus 40 to 85C. Now, if you'd like to see the initial wiring and how to set it up and get it to work with a PLC high-speed counter, check out episodes 49 and 50 of the Automation Show Season 1, where I walk through how to do that with a Micrologix, a Compact Logix, an S7-1200, and S7-1500. And I can tell you up front, each of those PLCs have a quite different HSC setup, which is why the four episodes of using the RVP510 with all those different PLCs. As far as price is concerned, IFM lists this encoder at $267 US. And I got to tell you, I'm really looking forward to trying out its IO link features in a future video. But for now, that'll wrap up our first look at IFM's incremental encoder with display, the RVP510. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and a sub. And until next time, peace.